Good morning, dear children. So today we will see maths, okay, of uh, chapter second. Now here in question number four, it is given that there are three thousand four hundred and twelve students in the junior section of a school, and two thousand four hundred and forty six students in the senior section. Okay, so how many students are there in all in the school? So if we need to know the total students, then what we need to do? We'll have to add. this junior section students number and senior section students number so we will get the total as a whole in the school so that is why i have written i have segregated or i have written the equation like this junior section students is 3412 senior section students are 2446 so for this one to take out the total students in all total students we will have to write like this junior plus senior students so we will write the numbers also under the junior and senior okay after that for our easiness of doing addition we will write like this 3412 plus 2446 so if we add these both numbers juniors plus senior students then 6 plus 2 is 8 4 plus 1 is 5 4, 4 plus 4 is 8 3 plus 2 is 5 so this is the total in all total students in the school so this is the thing after that Number B it has given which section has more students. So normally, if we see this equation, junior section students is three four one two, and senior section students are two four four six. So normally, we can understand by seeing the figure that three thousand four hundred and twelve is more than two thousand four hundred and forty six. So this is the more students section. So now, if we would like to know the number that how many more numbers of students are there in junior section, then we will have to go for the Uh, subtraction method so if we go to do the subtraction method okay then what we need to do again we will have to do like this that junior section students total number we will write here and senior section total number we will write here so once these are all written after that for our easiness of doing subtraction we will do one of means one down by that one okay so 3 4 1 2 2 4 4 so let us do the subtraction part now so this 2 is lesser than 6 so we cannot just like that way uh, do the subtraction so what we do we borrow one from here in one place that means it is 12 so we can now deduct this 6 from 12 so it will be 6 okay then again here it is 10 is remaining so 10 is more than 4 so definitely we can subtract this one so 4 minus 10 is equals 6. Fine. So here again, if we see that <coughs> when we had taken this 1 to here, then it was 13. So when this 13 is there, so from 13 minus 4 is equals 9. So this yes, it is 9. And here it was 2 after borrowing. So 2 minus 2 is equals 0. So 9 double 6 is your total. students in junior section okay so this is the answer okay of number b now if we <coughs> okay so this is the answer of this question number b i suppose or i hope that you people have already understood this one okay let us now go to the next question Now I will go to number five. Question number five. So here, five three five thousand three hundred forty eight books were displayed at a book fair. Of these, two thousand sixty seven books were in English. How many books were not in English? So we have to write total books. Equals five, three, four, eight. English books were two zero six seven. Okay, so how many books were not in English? So English books figure already we know this much. Okay, so if we uh, subtract from this number total book. From total book to English book, if we subtract, so definitely 
the figure which will come out that will be not in English means the other books. Okay, so what we do is we will now write uh, books were not in English equals total books minus English books. So this is the equation. This this is how that you'll have to write. Okay. So what we do is so total books were how much? Five, three, four, eight minus total books of English were two zero six seven. So similarly we will write like this. Put equal sign here. So five three four eight two zero six seven. So if we now subtract this one, <coughs> then uh, seven minus eight equals one. So six is more than four. Uh, more than four. So we cannot just uh, subtract this one. So what we will do? We will borrow one here. So it will be fourteen. So if we divide this six from fourteen, it will be eight. Okay. And here it is. It was two. So eight. Now what we will do? This two minus zero is two only, and five minus two is three. So three two eight one is the total answer. Three two eight one is the total answer. So here you need to write three two eight one. Three two eight one. So books were not in English will be your this figure. Three two eight one is the answer of this. So I suppose you have understood. Always you write the equation like this way. so it will be easier you to understand okay so this was number 5 now we will go to number 6 so number 6 the difference between two numbers is 1 2 3 4 if the bigger number is 4 3 2 1 what is the other number okay so <coughs> you have to write like this that bigger number is equal 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 and 4 3 2 1 and the other number is the difference between two numbers is this and the difference number is equals 1 2 3 4 so bigger number is 4 3 2 1 and the difference number is 1 2 3 4 so what is the other number so now write the other number the other number equals <coughs> bigger number minus bigger number minus the difference number difference number difference number So what is the bigger number? So bigger number is four three two one. So I'll write here four three two one, and the difference number is one two three four. So for our easiness, we will write like this: four three two one one two three four. Okay. So we will do minus means subtraction. So if we do subtraction, this one is lesser than four. So we cannot do like that. So what we will do? We will borrow one here. So it will be eleven. So if we subtract this four from eleven, it will be seven, and here it will be one. So again, one is lesser than three. <coughs> okay, one is lesser than three. So again, we will borrow from here. 
1. So it will be 11 again. So from 11 to 3, if we subtract, this will be 8. Means 3, we are subtracting from 11. So it is 8. So after this, 2 minus 2, it is 0. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3, 0, 8, 7 is the number. And this number we may have to write. The other number is 3087. So this is the answer. The other number is 3087. So here like you'll have to do like this. So always you write the equation like this. Bigger number is this. Difference number is this. So the other number equals. Means this was my question. Okay. What is the other number? So for taking out this one, you'll have to do this. Bigger number minus difference number which we have got already already we had given so like 4 3 2 1 minus 1 2 3 4 so 4 3 2 1 minus 1 2 3 4 is equals 3 0 8 7 okay so this is the answer of question number 6 i hope you have understood already this one okay now, we have got here addition of 4 digit number. Actually, 4 digit number, if we add, sometimes it comes to 5 digit numbers also. Suppose if the numbers are big, then it will be 5 digit number. Like that way it comes. So, it has given uh, some of the examples and you people already know how to do this. So, I will directly go to uh, the exercise part. Okay. That means... Exercise 1, I will take number 1, that is add, okay, 4, 6, 8, 3, 4, 6, 8, 3, after that, 6, 3, 9, 7, so let us do, and you know always this is, this is 1s, this is 10s, this is 100, this is 1000, like that way we do, okay, so if we add this one, how it will come? 7 plus 3, it is 10. So, we are remaining with 1. We cannot write here 1. So, what we do is, 7 plus 3 is equals 10. So, 0 we have written. Now, we are living with 1. So, what we will do, this 8 plus 1, okay, 8 plus 1 is equals 9, and 9 plus 9 is equals 18. So, again, we will live with 1. Okay, so this one will come here, 6 plus 1 is equals 7, 7 plus 3 is equals 10. So we will write again 0 here, so we are living again with 1. So this one will come here, that means 4 plus 1 is equals 5, 5 plus 6 is equals, 5 plus 6 is equals 11. So we will write here. So you see, it was totally 4 digits number, but finally it has come 5 digit number. 4 digit number to 5 digit number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, this is how you need to do. So, now if we go for the next one. If we go for the next one. If we now go, now go for the next one, that means B. It is B. 5, 0, 7, 6, 4, 9, 3, 7, 4, 9, 3, 7. So if we do add this one, again this one also will come as 5 digits number. So let us add 6 plus 7, it is 13. So we are living with 1. So this one will come here. So 7 plus 1 is equals 8. 8 plus 3 is equals 11. Again, we are living with 1. So here 0 plus 1 is equals 1 only. So 9 plus 1 is equals 10. Again, we are living with 1. Okay. So this one will come here. So 5 plus 1 is equals 6. 6 plus 4 is equals 10. So this is the answer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is again a 5 digit number. So if we do add 4 digit plus 4 digit, it may come to 5 digits also sometimes. Okay. So what you do is, <coughs> uh, this much I have shown you already. Okay. So at home, you do this CD. Okay. I will write here. I 
as a homework you take number ones that is c d then number two a b c as well as d so these are all will be your homework okay and once we are done with it once we are done with it we will do the next thing okay we will do the next thing and after that we will do the addition of five digit numbers also fine so let us wind up out here only for today we will see the next thing in the next classes okay have a good day and take care of yourself